Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I wanted to post up a super quick video and let you know that the Environmental Law Conference is actually going to have a panel on Fukushima. Uh, I don't think they're talking about the danger it's causing our planet. It, of course it's about money, and but listen to what it says. I'll read it to you. Will the nuclear industry learn from the Fukushima meltdowns? The organizer is Robert I. Um, he's an attorney, Robert V. I. Law Office, LLC. Before the 2011 Fukushima disaster, the nuclear industry and its regulators considered multiple reactor meltdowns and extensive fuel pool damage unlikely. That they were wrong hasn't stopped efforts to license new reactors and relicense old ones. Fukushima's lessons about protecting spent fuel reactors and cooling systems have not been embraced by the industry or its regulators. This panel will discuss Fukushima meltdowns and, pu and public interest efforts to force regulators to take account of the disaster's lessons. So I am very curious to see how they present this and if they will act like Fukushima is a done deal, like it's done all the damage that it could do. Because anybody watching my channel uh, probably knows that it is still an ongoing, the most catastrophic event that's ever happened in the history of humankind, and it is still killing us. It's still spewing out radiation at unprecedented amounts. They're not even testing it. We have no idea. In fact, they've lied so much we can't even believe a single word that any of them say. Um, I don't know if any of you saw Gina McCarthy today on C-SPAN talking about um, uh, with the EPA and what they're doing, but they're rolling ahead. They're, like he said, they're going on. And so it seems to me that our efforts mean nothing. When you realize that 86 people have more money on this planet than all the rest of us, you know, those 86 people, they own the uranium mines. They own the nuclear industry. They own the media. They own the governments. And we are living in the greatest income disparity ever in the history of humankind. It's far worse than during the medieval days. Um, so we just have to be smart and educate ourselves. So I'm going to press on with reading this book, but um, I just kind of wanted to give you the heads up about tomorrow's uh, event at, over at the Environmental Law Conference and remind people out in California that Kevin Blanche is going to be at Avila Beach. That's very near Diablo Canyon. He's going to start the Consciousness Walk. He'll be in Avila Beach for two days. And uh, we are going to need supporters to help put him in a room because I certainly can't pay for him to be in a hotel room every single night. Or maybe somebody will sponsor him to stay at their house as he walks along the road. But we're determined we are going to do this Consciousness Walk so that we can not just wake people up, People are awake, but to give them the courage and let them see that it, this is something we can face. This is something that we can manage. And it's great, but, you know, humanity has faced many, many challenges. And this is probably our hardest challenge because we've unleashed a monster that we don't understand. That doesn't mean that we're not capable of it. I really believe the universe gives us things in exactly the right time. And part of what's happened with the nuclear industry is that uh, people didn't stand up for humanity. And now we are like battered wives. And it is time for us to stand up to the abusers. Bottom line, there's, there's no battered women's shelter for us. There's no battered culture shelter. We have got to stand up to these guys and force them to back down. And um, I hope you join me in that one. So anyways, I'll end here. Ciao, you guys. And I'm going to be up at the Capitol building on the 11th in Salem. Take care.